Hi, this is Wiley Sharp with Catamaran Central, and today I want to take you for a quick video walkthrough on board a Balance 60, or it was originally called when it was built a Nexus, Nexus 60. Now this boat was built in South Africa for blue water cruising, and it's really the design that started off and really like made the Balance range grow. This particular video walkthrough I shot before the boat went on its circumnavigation, uh, but this boat is exceptionally well equipped and ready for blue water sailing. I'm going to have the full spec sheet and the pricing in the description down below. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, shoot me an email, or give me a call. Let's go ahead and jump aboard. We're going to start here on this starboard sugar scoop. Really nice stainless steel dive ladder. Great dinghy davit set up here. I mean, that tender comes really, really high out of the water there. It's a uh, 15 foot with, a, I think, a 70 on it. Then we've got uh, a couple of solar panels up top and uh, just really, really nice installation. Kind of a quick pan over the cockpit. Below me here is the mechanical space. We're gonna make our way up the starboard weather deck. So we've got kind of a uh, raised helm over here on the starboard side. Furuno Electronics, some loungers up on the hard top. All the sail control lines lead right here to the cockpit and uh, it's a very easy boat to sail single-handed. Making our way forward up the weather deck, really nice and wide. Huge foredeck area on board uh, the Nexus 60 here. Give you guys a quick pano there. So she's got a uh, code zero on a bowsprit, um, electric furler, really nice large split trampoline. Tons of storage both in the four peaks as well as the foredeck uh, lazarettes there. So this boat sails really, really well, according to the captain. The other day he was sailing in some pretty light wind, you know, eight knots or so of breeze. Or no, I'm sorry, he said six and a half knots of breeze and he was still doing four and a half knots under sail, which is pretty, pretty freaking incredible. He had the big code zero out and um, full mainsail up. It was just kind of trucking along. Gonna make our way down the uh, port side weather deck. As you can see, it's nice and wide. Uh, real quick, I'll point out, lots of hatches on the hard top. There's really good ventilation in the salon. I mean, a lot of thought was put into kind of the layout of this boat. Another swim ladder here on the starboard side. And you'll see she's got pretty good bridge deck clearance, especially for a South African boat. I mean, they're kind of always known for having a lower bridge deck clearance, but yeah, really nice on uh, Silver Girl. Quick pano of the cockpit here. Lots of storage in these lockers. All right, let's go ahead and take a look inside. As we make our way into the salon of Silver Girl, really nice, large U-shaped galley port aft with a large pass through to the cockpit. Um, first thing I kind of noticed on this boat is just the headroom. I mean, it's absolutely like palatial in here. I mean, I can barely touch the ceiling and I'm 5'11". So lots of cold storage here. Now you'll notice the inside of the boat is very similar in a lot of ways to a voyage. So we've got a U-shaped settee over to starboard and a uh, nav station port forward. We're going to go down the uh, port side first. Nice wide companion way. Got a uh, queen size bed aft. Plenty of storage on the inside, uh, inside or the um, inboard side of the hull. Nice and bright in here. All the lights are off, but it's still nice and bright. We've got the uh, head with a vanity sink, the actual heads behind the door, and then a shower stall forward. Plenty of storage, I mean, you can see a huge cabinet here on the inboard, outboard side, I'm sorry. Full-size washer, dryer. I mean, this boat's been really well thought of. So we've got the uh, head for the port forward cabin, kind of mirrors that star or port aft cabin head. Then uh, port forward, we've got kind of a, a good bed for a kid here. And then a king size, a Thor chip berth 
up top and then a walk-in closet forward. Popping across to the salon, give you guys a quick pan of through here. So yeah, really nicely laid out nav desk actually. I'll stop here, but you know, everything is just very cleanly installed in my opinion. Making our way across the salon. The crew lives in the starboard aft cabin, so we're gonna respect their privacy, but it mirrors the port aft cabin. The starboard Ford cabin is a little bit different. The berth is still a king size of Thwartship berth, but instead of having the day bed, they've actually got these uh, nice large hanging lockers. Through that door, we've got access to the uh, four peak as well as the deck hatch to get you through to the four peak. And then we've got the uh, the final head on this boat, which is a uh, you know, separate shower stall, vanity and sink, and then the actual heads behind the, uh, behind the uh, door there. So this is Silver Girl, a Nexus 60. If you've got any questions on this catamaran or any other catamaran, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below, shoot me an email, and as always, if you like what I have to say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a good day.